Every day, the world increasingly relies on the flow of digital information. From banking to education to travel to health, it's vital. So the way that we want to live and work relies heavily on our ability to access information whenever we want it, wherever we want it, but also to protect it and make it stay safe. No one understands how precious digital information is more than Professor Trish Williams from Flinders University who specialises in digital health systems. Trish is also the Cisco Chair and Co-Director of the Digital Health Design Lab. Well, healthcare is critical infrastructure because we're very dependent as a society on our ability to access healthcare services, particularly emergency services. She also knows that health is increasingly the target of cyber attacks. There is a huge cost in being able to rectify security incidents like ransomware. It can be up to a million dollars for each incident. And that really is money that could be better spent on delivering health care rather than protecting against cyber attacks. Cyber crime cost Australia $33 billion last financial year. And of the attacks, almost one quarter were against critical infrastructure. My message for those that operate critical infrastructure would be that today all infrastructure should be considered digital. With the proliferation of Internet of Things technology, artificial intelligence, big data, organisations are reaping benefits around efficiency and sustainability which are, are game changing. It makes sense that as the number of cyber attacks continues to grow, so does the need for expertise to shut them down and globally there's a shortage of such critical skills. Now this is the reason why Cisco is forming relationships both with business and with universities. One example is the Australian Cyber Collaboration Centre in Adelaide. And we develop cybersecurity training tools and educational resources for everyone across the community from schools to businesses large and small. At the core of our collaborative efforts with the Australian Cyber Collaboration Centre is is the centre's capability in the cyber range. This is a capability that allows organisations to test technology and network configurations and ensure they have a robust security posture. Our contribution to that is the networking, cyber and collaboration technology that enables that capability. The Cisco partnership is a wonderful opportunity to extend our cyber training academy, utilising Cisco's Network Academy courses that provide accredited cybersecurity professionals to ensure businesses are best protected from the range of cybersecurity threats out there. Petru Tegler became involved in fighting cybercrime the hard way when his small business was hacked. Now he's passing on what he's learned to others. My passion was to uh, be able to help people that have fallen victim to, to cyber attacks and also around awareness as well. So I already had a strong passion for cyber awareness before I decided to become a teacher. He sees the same passion in his students at Victoria University where they're taught in a cyber lab created in partnership with Cisco. And I think that students really connect with that brand because they know that Cisco's Cisco's massive and um, the impact that they have in, in IT and uh, the digital world, uh, I think it really helps um, students feel like they're getting a, a top tier education with Victoria University. The gap in cyber skills in this country is a critical factor and Cisco has long been passionate about doing our bit to close that gap. Two main vehicles through our Cisco networking academies. We currently have over 5,000 students enrolled in industry recognised cyber security training, a 50% increase on just a year ago. Uh, in addition, we partner with the uh, university sector in our, through our National Industry Innovation Network to help students solve real-world problems by combining academia, technology and industry partners. The partnerships are producing more than just job-ready students. Flinders University has built cutting-edge programs such as the Infrastructure Maturity Assessment that has now become the international benchmark for hospitals to measure their digital infrastructure against their business objectives, which includes things like security. As the battle against cybercrime increases, Cisco believes its best chance lies in a unified approach, that thwarting potential attacks is everyone's business. The consequences of not getting cyber right are incredibly high. We've seen many instances where an organisation is compromised and that can often flow through a uh, contagion through other industries. So we have a common enemy and we need a unified approach. Mm -hmm.